Uh, this is just a video update I'm doing. Uh, this was my first thought on a, uh, a furling tail. And we immediately started having uh, problems with uh, bending right here. As you can see, the metal is starting to get distorted. And that's from the, uh, the wind whipping this big tail back and forth. We started having stress problems immediately in our testing. So we had to go to a, a more structured design. And as you can see, this one has little thumbs here that grab the tubing and the sides are bent. This, uh, this whole part is tapered so there's not as much weight on the back and it has structurally it's very strong now and that'll just kind of uh, fit like that and uh, furl when the uh, wind is real strong. And the nice thing about this, the, these brackets They'll fit on all the uh, mounts we ever built. So if you want to get a furling tail, you can simply just bolt it on to uh, your existing bracket. And voila, you got a furling tail. And uh, we're going to be testing this design for a couple weeks. Uh, hopefully we'll have some severe winds so we can really give it a test. But it's coming along. It's sure a lot better than the first prototype. And uh, these are the new 42-inch blades. And uh, we're going to be testing these, too. But these will form a propeller that's over 7 1⁄2 feet. And they have a lot of torque. They've got this nice inner cup here. And that's something else we're working on, too along with the plastic blades we're coming out with. So we're going to have a full line of aluminum and plastic blades in high torque models. That's the update for today. Thanks for watching.